I'm going to talk to you today about uh, State Street and why it uh, made such an investment in Jersey and uh, more importantly the acquisition of the business Morant International Finance Administration, MIFA as we call it. Uh, well State Street started life as a commercial bank but in the last 20 years or so it's redefined its strategy to become a leading global financial service provider uh, principally to institutional investors. Uh, we have something in the order of 27,000 staff globally in 27 offices, I think, around the world. Um, and uh, we've had a presence in Jersey since 2003. But in 2009, State Street agreed terms with Morantz to buy the MIFA business. Uh, so why? Well, the Morantz International Finance Administration business uh, had a significant footprint, both in Jersey, uh, but also globally with nine offices around the world. And a main driver for this was to uh, position State Street with an alternative investment servicing business in Europe and in Asia. Principally in uh, Europe, we saw Guernsey, Jersey, London and Luxembourg as the offices of MIFA and Jersey uh, where it's headquartered. Um, we, uh, uh, we saw an opportunity to uh, extend our footprint uh, in, uh, in, a, in one big step. Uh, critical mass is in Jersey. Uh, it's been uh, a success in uh, many levels, but on private equity and real estate funds, we have seen growth, uh, in t in, uh, particularly in UK funds, UK fund managers using Jersey as their domicile of choice. For State Street, uh, there are uh, key areas which um, are important to us, our clients. Uh, the, the acquisition of MIFA uh, reflects State Street's commitment to Jersey. Uh, we have over 400 staff based there, and it's a key jurisdiction for our clients. Uh, we're working closely with our clients to ensure that the services that we provide are uh, market leading and respond to the needs of both them and the structures that we administer. And I have to say, we're seeing there's no let up in the structuring of Jersey structures. Technology has always been important to State Street and uh, the investment in technology is key and our partnership approach with clients give information to uh, where we can give information to our clients as and when they need it um, and leading uh, mystatestreet.com as, uh, as uh, uh, the market leading way to uh, provide information shared across our clients and intermediaries and also, very importantly, across different time zones. We employ a lot of people in State Street and uh, our, our staff are very important to us. It's very important for us to give our clients access to uh, experts in Jersey, both in terms of administration and accounting. And before MIFA joined State Street, we were already developing specialist teams providing consultancy services in the areas of onboarding and fund establishment. In uh, compliance, KYC, fund accounting, uh, among others. This in turn provides our staff with top class environments to enhance their own careers and their experiences. Uh, and this is further supported by, the, uh, by State Street sponsoring them in, in them undertaking their professional exams. State Street uh, also regards uh, the community as, as key and uh, we, we have driven a policy of local community involvement for many years and uh, among other things it includes State Street Foundation, we have a, a matching gifts policy and uh, a volunteer program where staff within State Street give two days a year, at least two days a year uh, into the voluntary sector. Uh, we'll see that particularly in Jersey this year as we are organizing uh, an event to bring schools in Jersey and Guernsey together to work in a, a competitive environment uh, with a nice prize at the end for the school that wins. Okay, um, the last couple of years have been tough for fund industry, uh, not least for my area of real estate. Uh, uh, we spent more and more time on workouts, uh, probably more than anything else actually, and uh, it's been a challenging time. But as we've seen values um, recover, uh, these funding issues have been worked through, uh, it's, it's presenting us with new opportunities. 
In the last year, we've worked, out, we've worked on over 80 private equity and real estate new business inquiries uh, in Jersey alone with a, uh, an asset value of some, somewhere in the region of $10 billion. This work's come mainly from existing clients with whom we have worked closely to provide solutions. Um, there are a couple of case studies up here for private equity. I'm not going to go through the detail of them, but uh, one, one particular case in point, a UK private equity client of ours uh, approached us to uh, incorporate a company to list on Channel Island Stock Exchange, and we established a structure uh, to invest in a residential portfolio of uh, property in the UK. Uh, it, had a, it had a private equity style to it with a limited partnership GP structure. Uh, and uh, we were able to come to the, to the table with both our private equity experience on the one hand, but also our real estate expertise as well. A uh, second example there is a GPLP structure investing in Latin America. We see uh, a trend of more and more global structures coming to Jersey uh, where the assets might be located, located in one part of the country, in part, one part of the world, and uh, the investor base in another. Um, on the real estate side, uh, we have seen uh, tremendous growth in Jersey uh, over the last eight years. Uh, many of the people I see in the audience have, I've worked with over the last five years uh, in, in many of these structures. Uh, a, a, a couple of examples here. Client B um, up on the screen uh, is a very interesting one. It's UK pension fund uh, targeting glo a global institutional client base, um, but uh, investing in UK property. But interestingly, on this particular structure, which has about 10 different entities in it, um, has a geared and an ungeared option. That enables investors to, uh, to choose their gearing. They can go to the ungeared or they can go to the geared option or they can mix and match and they can choose the gearing of their choice. And we spent the last couple of years with that, uh, that client uh, developing that model, which has proved very successful. Um, so um, there's lots of reasons why people should choose Jersey as jurisdiction. Um, listed here are some of the key ones, but I'll summarize it. Um, it's about track record. Clients know that coming to Jersey, they'll get the professionalism and responsiveness that they need to meet the needs of, uh, of themselves, their own organizations, but also their clients. And at State Street, we are looking forward to working with those clients uh, to see Jersey go from strength to strength.